School Superintendent Dr. Carol Cavanaugh presented the current status of the 2020 budget. As you know, we started out and let the principals just put everything on the table, things that you know were probably their greatest wishes. And at that point, we were at 9.9. .9. Um, I will give you the spoiler alert that right now we are at 6.67, but I will talk a lot about how we got to that place. Dr. Cavanaugh spoke about some of the upcoming needs for Hopkinton schools. Some of those facilities are going to need some a little bit of expansion space, um, but I also think that we continue to look at our facilities and think about where sort of intensive programs are going to be or silence labs are going to be, and so we try to maximize our learning space. We're constantly looking at uh, student safety measures, so we have cameras in place, we meet very frequently with um, the school safety and town safety personnel, and all of that takes place. Um, we will continue to build technology programming in FY20. There's not a whole lot of that going on, but we do, in fact, have you know licensure to worry about, machines to upgrade. And this year, Marathon Elementary School is actually one-to-one -one as well. Every student you know, in those classrooms, there are 20 iPads for every classroom. Part of the presentation showed how the 2020 budget increase was cut down from $9.9 million to $6.67 million. We had a reduction of support staff requests overall. We had 2.8 in support staff, and we have reduced that 2.6. There has been attrition, and that's actually been really helpful to us in this process. Um, and it's helpful to us in this process because as you look at those bullets in the gray box, one of the things that was really important was preserving people's jobs. And sometimes as people decide to retire or resign, we are able to move people into sort of vacant spaces um, where they, they may have not been able to um, continued employment, have continued their employment with the Hopkinton Public Schools. Retirements are also helpful in the sense that when someone retires, they've been along, around a very long time, they are paid at the top of the salary schedule. And in the event that you're able to replace that person with a lesser paid person because they're coming in at the very beginning of their career and teaching, that's a really sort of wonderful way to save money. A large part of the upcoming budget is based on the anticipated growth of students. This entire budget is built on those 100 students coming into this district. And it's also built, and this might be the most important thing I say this evening, it's also built on the even distribution of those 100 kids. So across all of our grade levels, if we get seven, eight, nine kids in each one of the grade levels, we're going to be fine. We have the plan to absorb those children into each one of the grade levels. You'll remember that this year we had surprise grade levels. In kindergarten, we had 64 unanticipated kids. In grade six, grade eight, grade nine, we had great big numbers. Um, so much so that we actually had a whole class worth, like 30 students in grade six. That's an awful lot of students. If we see that same phenomenon again this year, we are going to be back to this table thinking about how we are going to um, acquire more staffing to be able to accommodate kids in those grade levels. So that 100 or 103 or wherever that number is sort of is fluctuating today, that's a really important number to us. Dr. Cavanaugh showed the comparison of Hopkinton to other towns nearby regarding expenses per a student. Right. In most, in most communities, the school budget takes up the majority of the town's um, budget. And, you know, Hopkinton is no different. But if you take a look at um, some of those very top communities, and these are the per pupil expenditures, and they came from the DESE website, and they are the 2017 per pupil expenditures. Districts like Weston and Dover are play, paying somewhere around $20,000 per student. Um, Weston, you know, obviously close to $24,000 a student. Here in Hopkinton, we are still at like $14,500. So I think that families here are really getting a whole lot of educational bang for their buck. We do an awful lot. Um, and, you know, really it's... I think our classroom teachers who are exceptional instructors that get us to a place where our kids are so high achieving on, you know, sort of a, a very modest, I would say, per pupil expenditure. Expense changes for the 2020 budget were presented. Last piece, of course, are the changes in expenses. Um, and again, the message was where possible to level fund. Um, where you are stuck, of course, are contractual obligations. 
Um, so you can see technology, the um, increase was minimal. Central office, that increase really is transportation. You have a $60,000 contractual increase and the addition of a bus. Um, most of our buses, especially at the middle school, high school level, are at capacity. Um, the original, what we had originally put in the bus, in the budget was two buses. So we're taking a chance and we pulled one, one back. You can view the full school committee meeting at youtube.com slash HCAMTV.